The Penderwicks at Last is the final installment in the series by Gene Birdsall, which narrates the adventures and growth of the Penderwick siblings. This fifth book brings the readers back to the cherished estate of Arundel, where it all began, for the wedding of the oldest sister, Rosalind. As the story opens, the family is preparing for the much-anticipated event. Rosalind is set to marry her boyfriend, Tommy, and the wedding planning is in full swing. The youngest Penderwick, Lydia, now 11, is particularly excited about the wedding and is keen on learning more about the family history at Arundel. Lydia is a vivacious and imaginative child, longing for her adventures like the ones her older sisters experienced during their first summer at Arundel. She quickly befriends Alice, a lonely girl living on the estate, and together they decide to explore the grand mansion and gardens, making plans for the wedding festivities. Meanwhile, the second oldest Penderwick sister, Skye, is grappling with her feelings for her longtime friend Jeffrey. Skye is now an astrophysicist, and she's always been known for her logical and organized mind. However, her feelings for Jeffrey complicate her otherwise orderly life. The romantic tension between them grows throughout the preparations, as Jeffrey, an acclaimed musician, has agreed to play at Rosalind's wedding. Jane, the third Penderwick sister, is a successful author of fantasy novels. She is enveloped in the whirl of creativity and career success, but finds herself distracted by matters of the heart as well. She's brought her college friend, Zach, to be her date for the wedding, but their relationship is ambiguous, leaving Jane to ponder where her affection truly lies. Batty, the second youngest Penderwick, is blossoming as a high school student and a talented singer. She harbors a secret she hasn't disclosed to her family, a scholarship to a music conservatory. Batty is worried about how her decision to pursue music full-time might affect her sisters, especially with so much change already in the air. The sisters, along with their brother Ben, an honorary Penderwick, Jeffrey, gather at Arundel, and reminiscence is interwoven with present joys and challenges. The family's bond is as strong as ever, and the estate brings up memories for everyone, reflecting on their growth and past summers spent there. Lydia's discovery of a secret passage adds a touch of adventure to the wedding preparations. She is overjoyed to have her own Penderwick adventure and, with Alice by her side, is determined to make the most of the summer. Their antics provide comic relief and the spirit of childhood discovery that has been at the heart of the series. As the wedding day draws near, each sister deals with her personal conflicts. Skye and Jeffrey must confront their feelings. Will they risk their lifelong friendship for the chance at love? Jane's mixed emotions about Zack become clearer as she realizes her true feelings and Batty struggles with the courage to reveal her music scholarship. In a series of heartfelt conversations and events, resolutions gradually unfold. Skye and Jeffrey open up about their love for each other, realizing that they can't imagine life apart. Jane acknowledges her love for someone unexpected, not Zack, and decides to follow her heart. Batty gathers the courage to share her music scholarship news, finding her family supportive and proud. The wedding ceremony is beautiful, and fittingly takes place in the Arundel Gardens where the series began. It's a bittersweet farewell to the estate, but a new beginning for Rosalind and Tommy, who are surrounded by family and friends. As the book draws to a close, the Penderwicks look toward the future, embracing the changes and growth they each have faced. Lydia, having earned her place in the Penderwick family legacy, is content with the adventures she had and the promise of more to come. The Penderwicks at last delivers a poignant and satisfying conclusion to the family's story, leaving readers with a lasting sense of warmth, nostalgia, and the enduring power of family connections. Jean Birdsall ties up the loose ends of each sister's storyline fans a final farewell to the beloved characters who have grown and evolved throughout the series. The wedding day, filled with love, laughter, and a few final twists, encapsulates the joy and unity that the Penderwicks have always represented. As they embark on their next chapters, the legacy of their summers at Arundel and the bonds they share will continue to shape their lives and inspire readers who have journeyed with them. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.